Praise God in Jesus' name. Now, I had a dream last night about the beast, okay? Now, there's the Antichrist, and people are calling the Antichrist the beast. I don't think that's right. Because the dream I had, I saw the beast, and it was like a spiritual being that was literally like an animal, like a beast. And it had no reasoning. It was not Lucifer. It was not Satan. It was not the devil, even though it was a devil. But it was like an unreasoning animal. And it was also a spirit that goes out to kill and make war against the saints. And it's indiscriminate. And, it, and here's the thing. God created it. It's a created being. But it has no intellect. It has no understanding. It's like a... I want to say the best way to describe it is if Lucifer, the devil, had a pit bull or a dog, a Rottweiler, that was trained to just go out and kill God's people first and foremost, but anybody who gets in his way, that's what it was. That's what it was, and that's what the beast is. Kill anything that gets in your way. Christian, yeah, but anything else that gets in your way, too. And this beast, what I saw was it was bound in chains, and it was like in a cage in a dark place, like underground or something. And I saw a four angels go in there, and they released it. And it was released about the time that ISIS started going through the land and beheading and killing and just destroying things. So I'm going to say this. Right now, ISIS is the beast. That beast was bound and then was released in the summer, somewhere in the summer of 2014. Now, it had been released decades ago at some other times, okay? And then it had been bound again, and then it had been released again. And so its most recent release was the summer of 2014 when ISIS started ravaging the land. Now, wait, here's what I, I prayed about this. A lot of people are saying Obama is the beast. Obama this, Obama that. Obama may be the Antichrist, but he's not the beast. Okay? But the day is coming when that spirit, the beast, will be behind, a, behind the Antichrist and working on behalf of the Antichrist. And this thing, I prayed about it. I said, God, I don't make, it doesn't make any sense. You know what the Lord showed me? He told me that Lucifer, even Satan... Now listen, even Satan knows that he's going to have an eternal judgment. And even Satan, Lucifer, the devil, the top devil, the, the, the boss, the dragon, okay? He knows he's going to be held accountable. And when it comes to God's people, even he is more standoffish and doesn't want to mess. Because he has intellect, he's smart. The devil is smart, and he knows judgment. He understands God. But the beast has no intellect. He has no understanding. It's like he's a computer. A, it's like he's a dog that's been trained to do a certain task. And believe it or not, that task fulfills God's will, God's plan, and God's purpose. I'll give you an example. If you're not serving God the way you should, you're a backslidden Christian, when the beast comes to get you, 
you will run for Jesus and you will run back to Jesus and you will get with God and you'll get your heart right and if you have to fast, you'll fast and if you have to pray, you will pray and if you have to give some stuff away and get away from the things of the world, you will do it. That's what the beast does. That's the beast. You say, oh, the beast is just the devil and it's not God and it's not God's will and God would never do that. <laughs> I'm sorry, but there's some Christians out there who are lukewarm and backslidden who will thank God that the devil chased them straight back to God. Isn't it true we get our heart right with God when, when we come into a battle that we get defeated? Isn't that what happened with the children of Israel over and over again in the Bible? They go to war and they have victory. Then they fall away from God because they're prosperous and victorious. Then they go to war, they get defeated, and they come back and say, we've sinned. Like they have a revelation. Anyway, I saw the beast. It's like an unreasoning animal that just goes out to make war and destroy. And right now, the beast is with ISIS. But that's all going to change. And then when the Antichrist rises up, the beast is going to suddenly get on his side, and, and I'm not exactly sure how that all works, but, but the Antichrist will be operating in accordance with this beast thing that I saw. And it is, it's a spirit, man, I'm telling you. And, you know, it took, it took a couple angels of God that had, they had that same kind of thing they, that a dog catcher uses. You know, it's like a pole, and at the end of the pole it has a loop, so you can catch it and control it, but it can't get to you. And you can. And this thing had claws on it. It looked like a fierce animal. I don't know if that's just representative of what it is or what, but this thing was, it kind of looked like a cougar. Like it had, it looked like a black, dark colored cougar. It had big claws. That's just what I saw, Okay. But I had a revelation of it, and I believe that my, this revelation, if you go to your Bible and do a study, you'll find that, you know, when that beast makes war against God's people, I'm just saying, beheadings and slashings and destruction and wars, rumors of wars, I mean, it's a destroyer. Anyway, that's what I saw. Oh, and the other thing is, because it's unreason, the devil can step back and let that thing do its work. And the devil says, I'm not accountable for this stuff. Yeah, a bunch of, bunch of Christians were beheaded today. The devil steps back and says, hey, the beast did it. You know, oh, you know, I'm not touching God's anointed. I'm not crazy. Even the devil knows that. I'm telling you. I'm telling you, and even the devil knows that when you get outside of God's will, that's when he can attack you, and he also knows that, dang, man, I'm just fulfilling God's will because when I attack, they run back to Jesus. You see? So I'm just saying to, to go through and behead and rape and murder and destroy the lives of God's beloved I'm telling you, even Satan, even Lucifer will be like, whoa, uh-uh, no, mm -mm, get someone else to do that job. Oh, no, we can train a dog. I'll get me a pit bull. We'll train him up. We'll teach him how to do it. But I don't want to have nothing to do with being responsible for actually laying hands on God's anointed. I'm just saying. <laughs>